Welcome to the video demo series for Configure IT. Unleash the hassle-free way to build bug-free mobile apps in the quickest possible turnaround time. So in this video, we want to take a look at taking payments within the Configure IT platform. Configure IT has two default ways of accepting payments. One is payments through PayPal, and one is through in-app purchases. So let's take a look at PayPal. The first thing to know about PayPal is PayPal can be used on iOS and Android devices. The way you start using PayPal is to click on third party applications, check play PayPal, and if you expand the little arrow, you can see that there's some information already loaded into these fields. Now this information is valid for the preview at app. So you you can test your application to make sure that it's communicating and working correctly with the information that's already loaded. However, once you download the source code and go live, you will need to put your own credentials in, which you'll get directly from PayPal. So once you've had that checked, click Save. Now what we need to do is go ahead and add the PayPal API. And the way we do that is click on Data Sources, Add Data Source. And PayPal is a third party API, so we'll click third party on. The third party list will scroll down until we get to PayPal. We'll add PayPal. Now these are all the PayPal input parameters and they're all required. And the values of these parameters are gonna vary depending on what you're selling. But for this example, we're going to go ahead and just use static values. So for the amount, we're gonna use $20. The currency code will be USD or US dollars. The description, this is the description of the product. So we're gonna type in product description. And for email, this will be the user's email address, which you should have captured uh, when they registered in your app. And But for this example, we're just gonna do jason at gmail.com. And for the phone number, we'll just do 555-555-555. We'll click save. Now what we wanna do is provide some sort of confirmation that the payment was successful or some additional actions um, when the payment's successful. And this will be maybe unlocking something within app or providing some sort of confirmation uh, to the user. And the way we do that is click on data source loaded. And for the condition, we'll go ahead and add uh, response and these are the responses that we'll receive from the PayPal API. And we're gonna select, in this case, select success and one, which will be a success. And for the action, you can choose whatever you wanna choose at this point, whether it's redirecting them to a page or showing an alert view or whatever. But in this case, we'll just click on save. Now that we have our PayPal API configured, let's go ahead and take a look at it in the app. So I've gone ahead and downloaded the project to the preview app. Let's take a look at the PayPal integration. So the first thing we wanna do is click on the PayPal button. So as you can see there, it gives us the product description and the price, which are the values that we put as the input parameters. We'll click on PayPal. You can see there, there's the, the email address and the phone number. And for the password, we'll go ahead and type in a password. We'll hit login. Now you can see that we have multiple payment options from our PayPal account. So we'll select on that one and we'll click on pay. There you go, now we have a successful payment. Now what if we wanted to pay by credit card? So we'll come back to PayPal, we'll choose log out, and we'll pay with card. We actually have the ability to scan the card and when you get the green lines, it will automatically input the data from your card. We'll enter in a CVC code. Now we can charge a card. Now we have a successful payment. And that's how we configure a PayPal integration. Now let's take a look at how we do an in-app purchase. Two things to note on in-app purchases. The first thing is in-app purchases only apply to iOS devices. As of yet, they do not apply to Android devices. Second, to successfully test and implement an in-app purchase, you actually have to download the source code. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to implement them. So the first thing you need to do is set up your app in iTunes Connect. Because once you have your app set up, you can add your in-app purchases. Now we're not gonna walk through in this video how to set up an in-app purchase. The thing to note is that this value right here, this product ID, because we're gonna need this product ID in just a minute. 
So let's show you how to configure your API. We'll come back and we'll add a data source. We'll turn on the third party API and we'll scroll down to the bottom where we get in app purchase. And here is where you will add your product identifier right here in this value. This is the value that you will get from iTunes Connect. So once you have that done, you'll click save and be able to do in-app purchases. And that's how you configure an in-app purchase. For more information, visit our help center or stay connected via the support ticket portal or live chat where our support team will assist you. Keep configuring.